to do something here. I'm going to make a few casts. Run black chatterbait, all right? Closer to the grass over there. Give us one more cast. Every now and then, if you don't feel that blade on the front flutter, and you can just give it a quick jerk like that, and that'll seems to free up the blade. All right, just out of curiosity. I'm going to tie on a green pumpkin real quick. And then I'm probably going to make a few casts with this. I'm probably just going to go ahead and get in the kayak. I don't want to waste a whole lot of time here on this bank if they're just not there. And check this out. <clears throat> huh. I'm not even for sure if this is worth it. Just want to try something in comparison to the blue and black. Let's go ahead and run this all the way close to the back as we can get it. Looks pretty good there. All right, it's gonna, it's gonna be kind of a compact lure right there. Try and drop it in some of the same spots that I did with the blue and black. There's one right there. Isn't that crazy? Oh, that's a good one. Let's try and keep him down. He's pulling good. Yep. Come on in, baby. Another nice one right there. Oh yeah, that's two and a half, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna say that's two and a half. Scales right over here, so let's get a weight. One cast from changing from 
the blue and black chatterbait to the green pumpkin. Um, could just be that that's what these bass are used to seeing. They're probably feeding off bluegill and that green pumpkin looks a little bit more like a bluegill. than what the blue and black does. So. Should have saved the weight on that other one. Let's see what we got here. Yep. 2.68. Two and a half pounds. Let's lock him in on the 07 spot. Two and a half pounds, guys. Not too shabby. Two fish caught. We got uh, about four and a half pounds worth of bass in the bag, so to speak. Let's get a release on this guy. Actually, I'm going to take a quick picture of him because I've failed to do that before. It's a good-looking bass.